All right, and it is day three aboard Brilliance of the Seas. Today we are headed into Sitka, Alaska, which should be really nice. Um, we are getting in, it's a little later, all of this trip. The ports are a little later than I'm normally used to. Usually you get into port in the morning. We won't be getting in until around noon today. The gangway is scheduled to be down at 12.30. Uh, we are planning to go and look around the town and visit St. Michael the Arth Archangel's Cathedral. Um, that is our plan. We'll see how it goes. Right now we are off to breakfast. Let's go. All right, and wrapping up day three. So Sitka was amazing. This might be one of my new favorite ports. As we were pulling into Sitka, we got to see um, Mount Edgecombe uh, without fog over it, which was awesome. So it was really interesting because when I got up there this morning, um, it was completely fogged over. You could actually see the fog settling over the pool deck, which was cool. A little silent hilly, a little disconcerting. You could hear the fog horn, and then all of a sudden we break through the fog and there's all these mountains. It was beautiful. And Mount Edgecombe is a dormant volcano. And normally it retains the fog cover, but the fog cover lifted and we were actually able to get really good footage of the mountain. And it was beautiful. The whole uh, sailing into port was amazing. Um, me and my dad went up on the upper decks and we're just taking pictures and videos. It was beautiful. Um, Sitka itself was beautiful. This port's really nice. You get off, there's like little shops there that you can walk around. However, there's a free shuttle into the main like little town area which is set up beautifully and it's really interesting because there's both a mixture of shops uh there's a public library right there a visitor center and then there's like little food stands um so that was like really cool they, there's there was like a king crab food stand it was really crowded we didn't stop there um what we did go see was saint michael the archangel's cathedral as i mentioned this morning um, that was beautiful out of respect for the active congregations that there we didn't film inside however it is the first orthodox cathedral or church at all in the americas um so it's got a lot of history burned down in the 60s they rebuilt it 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 is a replica of the original um it was amazing to go in there and see that and it holds special significance to me and my sister so we wanted to make sure that we got there um it was really amazing. If you do go visit, please make sure you're respectful. They ask that you not wear a hat inside and that, you know, you just keep in mind that it is somebody's place of worship. Um, but definitely worth seeing 
it has a lot of really cool history and um yeah uh then we also we just walked around for a little bit we went down and saw the giant totem pole that's right on the edge of the water um we talked to some other people who went and saw like the raptors that was really cool they said so definitely Sitka is a port worth taking time for um after we got back on the ship I walked around did a little bit of filming didn't get as much done as I would like because it was a surprisingly busy ship though we were parked next to Radiance and that was completely empty but our ship stayed pretty active um and now it is getting kind of well, it's not that late actually, um, but we are going to get up early tomorrow at 6.30 in the morning to, because we are going through uh, past a glacier, which we will be pat through by like 7.30 in the morning. So we want to get up and see that because that sounds really beautiful. We had an amazing dinner. The dining room staff has been just top notch, really wonderful. Um, the whole staff on board has been really great. And so sometimes with these older ships, hiccups happen, but they have addressed the ones that have. Uh, somebody who traveled through, who booked with John, um, they had some issues, but you know, the staff really stepped up and have taken care of it and worked with them. And that is all that you can really ask for on these trips is to make you feel special um, and taken care of. And they have really done a great job of that. So tomorrow we are headed into Juneau it's going to be a very busy day, starting with the glacier, and then we are doing a whale watch and salmon bake, which will hopefully be amazing. So I'll let you know how that goes. All right, and that is really it. Um, there's the balloon drop tonight, which I'm not going to make it to, but they are raffling off the Utopia of the Sea tickets um, because that was announced today. <laughs> so, yeah, check out Utopia of the Sea. It sounds like a good time. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.